and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhal. Let's look at today's top headlines. Mulling to diverse two pharma units, said Mansukh Mandavia. The Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia stated on Friday that the government is considering selling a portion of its ownership in one or two public sector units involved in the pharmaceutical industry. The government's intention is to transition from being directly involved in business operations and instead focus on facilitating businesses. Mansukh Mandavia made these remarks while addressing the Global Pharmaceutical Quality Summit organized by IPA. He mentioned that that the government owns one to two pharmaceutical plants and is in the process of divesting in its stake, allowing the private sector to take over their operation. However, he did not disclose the specific companies targeted for divestment or provide any further details regarding the correct progress of these proposals. Kerala hospital ward shut down after 10 cobra spotted patients relocated. In a horrifying incident reported in the city, a group of 10 baby cobras was discovered within and around the surgical ward of the government-run district hospital in Perinthalmana, located in Kerala's Malapuram district. The atmosphere in the hospital quickly turned into a nightmare as panic spread among the patients and the attendants witnessed the presence of the crawling baby cobras in the ward. As a result, the people in the hospital immediately evacuated the area. The eight patients who were in the ward at the time of the incident have been relocated to a nearby medical ward within the hospital. The surroundings of the surgical ward are overgrown with bushes and the ward's floor also has damaged tiles. It is suspected that the snakes managed to slither through these broken tiles. Altogether, four attempts to clear MBBS first proof exam NMC GMER 2023. In the recently notified Graduate Medical Education Regulations 2023, the UG MBB of the National Medical Commission has reiterated that MBBS students will be allowed altogether four attempts to clear their first professional MBBS examination. Setting a limit regarding the number of attempts to clear the MBBS exam, NMC has clarified in GMER that provided under no circumstances the student shall be allowed more than four attempts for first year professional MBBS and no student shall be allowed to continue undergraduate medical course after nine years from the date of admission into the course mentioned the regulations. This is not the first time that an MC has set this limit for the MBBS students to clear the first year MBBS examination. Earlier, similar rules were notified by an MC in the Graduate Medical Education Amendment 2019 regulations as well. According to a study, there will be 1.3 billion diabetic patients by 2050. The study published in the Lancet Journal reveals that within less than three decades, the number of diabetes cases with type 2 diabetes accounting for 95% of them will surpass 1.3 billion by 2050. This surge is attributed to structural racism and significant disparities between countries. According to the most comprehensive analysis of worldwide data that projects into the future until 2050, every country across the globe will witness a rise in prevalence of this chronic disease. Study reveals that AI may transform the way we understand emotions. A team of researchers from the University of the West of Scotland has developed an emotion identification technology that could be advantageous for individuals with neurodiverse conditions like autism. Historically, recognizing and understanding emotions has been a complex and demanding field of study. Nevertheless, due to advancements in vision processing and the availability of affordable devices like wearable electroencephalogram and electro cardiogram sensors, the UWS scholars have collaborated to leverage these technologies and create artificial intelligence that can effectively interpret emotion-related signals obtained from brain and facial analysis. Professor Nayam Ramzan, Director of the Effective and Human Computing for Smart Environments Research Center at UWS said that emotions are a fundamental aspect of the human experience and understanding the signals that trigger different emotions can have a profound impact impact on various aspects of our lives. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.